Hi there, my name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to Confessions of a Domestic Engineer. And... This episode is about observations. Observations I have seen and make me a little bit worried about the future. Just a little bit. Let me get into this. So, if you watch the bird episode, you know what building I work in. I do not actually work for that fi- uh, that educational institution, but I do work within the building. Now, it's really cool. I love my job. I absolutely love my job. I love interacting with the students. Um, I-, I love getting to see the retro holy crap the retro in there um like everybody's dressed like they did when i was a kid it's really kind of crazy to see there was one girl okay so there's one girl came to pick up her order and i look at her she's wearing a joy division shirt but it's not a new joy division shirt it's an old joy division shirt and i look at her straight in the eyes i said you stole that out of your mom's closet didn't you and she looks at me and she goes, yes. And I'm like, I thought so. <laughs> Great. Great stuff like that. Um, the diversity is pretty cool. Uh, and when I say diversity, what I mean is there is a great span of diversity in there. Like when, and I'm not talking racial diversity. When I went to St. Clair College between 97 and 99, there was always a good chunk of racial diversity in there. Uh, Definitely more so now than there was then, but the real reality is, is there's just more people that aren't just white living in Windsor now than there was then. Uh, but that, that's, that's not really such a thing for me. I don't give a shit about that stuff. Uh, what I do like though is I, I do like the interactions with all the different groups and stuff like that. What I what I really want to talk about that I noticed though, and you know, you'll hear a lot of this when people talk about I, I dread to use this word, the manosphere. And but you'll hear the statistics out there about women in college versus men in college. And how the ratio is like almost 60-40, 60% women, 40% men. Now, that's in the U.S. And they they talk a little more about college and university, the way they kind of lump it together. I know that they their system is a little bit different than ours, I think. Uh, I can't say with absolute certainty, but I'm pretty sure like our universities are kind of one thing and our colleges are kind of another. Over there, they seem to kind of intermix a little bit. Uh, they've also got like the community colleges, stuff like that. It's a little bit weird for me there. Um, now we have community colleges here, but community colleges are usually branches of official colleges like St. Clair college, for example, has their Thames campus. And that used to be kind of like, we, uh, we jokingly back in my day used to call that like their, their Chatham's, uh, community college. Cause they just didn't have a real one. Um, anyways, so the corner where I work, yes, I work at a corner on a corner. <laughs> um, I'm actually the, the one wing that's by me is actually one of the major tech wings, you know, the welding area, the shop area, the carpentry area, uh, not so much the electrical. There's a few other ones in there. I also get the, we'll call it the music theater areas right by me too. Okay. And so obviously I see a lot down that hall and that hall has definitely got a little bit of a different ratio to it. That hall's a little more male centric, but those trades are a little more male centric. Now, that being said, I do see quite a few women in these male centric kind of places. I would say that it's still a, a less than desirable ratio. Because I would say what I see is best case scenario, 70, 30, 70% guys, 30% women. And I think that's for like the carpentry or woodworking stuff. I see that when you get into welding and the metal fab, I see even less women. 
Um, so that means they're still avoiding the dirty jobs. That's that's a personal beef I have. I'd like to see more women doing that. Just like when I see everybody coming in, um, and I see I watch all the uniforms walking around. There are almost no guys wearing esthetician uniforms. Uh, that really should change out a little bit, I think. Um, that's another thing I should point out. Because of where I work, I actually handle uniforms and sell them to people. So I get to see a lot that way with the balances. When you get into things like, say, PSWs, still very female-centric, but there are definitely a lot more guys. Nursing, still very female-centric, but there are more guys. Um, there's a few other things because of the diversity I get to see of it. Also, the age range is crazy too. When I was there, if there was anybody that was like 40, 50 years old, they were a narc <laughs> or a dealer, one or the other. Okay. Uh, <laughs> or, or they were there, they were going back on some type of WSIB or comp situation or something like that. Right. Um, <laughs> Now, though, it's very diverse. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Me at almost 43 years old, I still tilt on the there's not as many of us side. But the range going up to 30, 35 even, I would still say like when I'm visually guessing ages, there's a lot I could peg at 30, 35. And it's quite interesting. Um, and, and older. Oh, yes. Older as well. There's a lot of a lot of second careers. Let's be completely honest. A lot of second careers going in, going through there. Um, but really, I want to really go on the gender split because it is amazing. Because I spend a lot of time watching people walking through the halls, and I'm also not too far off from the food area. So I, I you know, people come and sit and eat over in the little sections. I'll get into that in a second too. Uh, no, no, I'm going to leave that one out. Um, so people come and sit by me, which which I'm cool with. I don't have an issue with that. Uh, and they'll eat and stuff like that. And that's totally cool. But it allows me to also still see the range and the diversity of people through there. And I will kid you not. I know that, you know, depending on which report you read and what statistics you go by, they say like 60-40. There is a huge part of me that, at least on the main campus, because I'm only in the main main campus, main building, okay? So going by just my views, what I see, okay? This is not a proper study, okay? Okay? I'm just, my views, what I'm seeing, I want to say 60-40 is, like, the low end. It could be up to 70-30 between male and female. If it were not for having the trades like the dirty trades directly by me and because i get the plumbing guys too i see a lot of them um it, were it not for all that i really don't i wouldn't see many women that one eye hallway which would really skew but if i wasn't there there'd be a lot more women around a lot more because like anything that goes into the music program rooms um is generally predominantly female. Um, you know, when people were coming in picking up their books for the the year and whatnot, um, you could see, uh, electrical program. A lot of women going into the electrical programs. That's cool. A lot of women when it comes to picking up books. A lot of women who come in to pick up the books for the electrical program. That is awesome to see. Virtually no women come in to pick up books for the plumbing program. Um, not as many women coming for millwright programs and stuff like that as I would have hoped for. Um, a lot of the stuff, honestly, that the women are coming in for are a lot of the still more traditionally female jobs. But there's a lot of them. And they are coming in on the other ones. Like I said, uh, I don't think we really sell much in the way of carpentry or anything like that books. I, I could be wrong on that one. Not that I've noticed anyways. And they, um, 
they don't like I said, that's the one where I see the most women the most often. Um and there's some they don't come in for at all because they don't really have some books and there's other also other campuses now they have to come if they want to get their books from me Ooh, that's right if you want your books you come see me um i really hate giving this much information about my job i really try not to give up that much information about my job and this is also why I'm presenting it in the best way possible, because really, I love my job. I absolutely love my job. I love with the pe dealing with the people I do. And after all the years I have spent working in retail, you really think I'd hate it at this point. Especially now that I'm back to being a damn cashier again. Seriously, I am back to being a cashier. But... <laughs> Um, I don't mind it this time around. It's not so bad. I also, I really do like interacting with a lot of the students, you know, and it's a, obviously it's polite interaction, but it's really, really cool. Uh, they're definitely not, they don't have their heads up their asses as badly, I think, as they did in my day. We were definitely much more pricks and, and much more heads up our asses. I find that generally, now... To be fair, to be fair, okay, I've only been there for a few months. I I only officially got hired on in the last month. I was actually only there temporarily at first, but I'm damn good at what I do. So they wanted to keep me, which is awesome because I love my job. I love working there. It's exactly what I need as a domestic engineer to the point now where things are even slowing down you'll notice that it's been kind of hit and miss with the videos a lot of that's just because by the time i get home from work i'm tuckered i'm a busy boy and it, it's kind of hurt a little bit uh but now my hours are cutting back a little bit which is great it's kind of what i want so i can get back to actually working on some projects and going with that, actually, that's going to be a whole different update on its own. So, yeah, going back to where I was here with the female-male ratio. It is kind of discouraging to me to see how few guys are going to college. Now, maybe maybe in university, you know, if you go to the U of Windsor, it might be a little bit different. The ratio might be a little bit different. Um, because there's more engineering programs there, stuff like that. So that might make a difference. And once again, I am basing this just on my limited perception of the small section I work in. But I deal with a lot of students, so I do see a lot. And I'm not saying that, you know, more guys got to go in. But what I am saying is something I said, I'm... I'm I said very early on in the confessions of a domestic engineer videos with the women going into all these fields and getting higher paying jobs and stuff like that. Um, they really are going to should be now some of these fields I've mentioned, they're not high paying fields, you know, estheticians, not necessarily the highest paying field. If you're a good esthetician, you can make some nice buck, but that's one of those ones you got to hustle ass on. PSW's kind of been flooded. I know that you can make some good money, but you can also end up in some really crappy places. Once again, that depends on how you want to hustle. You know, there's other things there, though, like firefighting. Firefighting is predominantly male. I do chuckle. I do chuckle when... Because I've met a good chunk of the people in the firefighting program. All cool guys. And girls. Uh, there's one girl in the fire there there's that I've seen so far I can make out there are definitely three girls in the fire three women in the firefighting program maybe four no I think it was four I think I saw a fourth one today because they all were out with their uniforms on for the first time that I noticed uh of the four two of them are the same size as some of the guys if not bigger than some of the guys one of them reminds me of a girl I dated in high school. Um, and if you happen to be watching this episode, Lottie, yes, I am talking about you. Um, it, another one, she just, I, I, I don't know how to just, 
describe what she looks like. She looks like a chick. But two of the other girls are going to be assigned to driving the truck, I think. <laughs> Maybe not even the big truck. Because when they came in, I looked in and went, and I'm not trying to be sexist in any way whatsoever, you know, but they're not going to be carrying me out of a window. <laughs> However, if there's little spots they got to get into, they'll fit into them fine. Okay, so there's a, you know, so it's interesting that way to see that diversity. But I've only seen four women in, in the uh, the firefighting training program and uh, the rest are dudes. But that being said, I think I've only seen eight dudes. So, you know, maybe a couple more than that. So we're honestly talking that it's a third of the group is female, you know? Um, there's a few other programs I haven't seen enough of, so I, I really couldn't say. But... I will, like I was saying, you know, going back to the beginning with all these women going in all these fields where there's some money to make, especially, you know, the electrical and stuff like that. And guys not going into these fields, it's not that they're necessarily losing out on positions to these females. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is these females that are taking these jobs need to start looking at guys like me who are the domestic engineers and do the smart thing like my Tracy did and get a man that knows how to cook. Get a man that knows how to clean. Get a man that is fine with working just a simple part-time job to bring in some extra money while he takes care of the rest of the house. So, that was my talk about the difference I noticed in colleges. In, in my college. In the college I'm at. A college that I attended. So, I have a 20-year range to look at here on how it's changed in 20 years. It's really kind of cool. Um, anyways... Let me know what you think. Uh, this, this is, once again, I'm not bashing on anybody in this one. I'm just merely pointing out that as more women are taking over male spots, more men are going to have to take over traditionally female spots, and the women need to be okay with that. My views. Anyways, everybody, you comment section, that is for your views. The like button, the subscribe button's cool. Patreon is a wonderful thing. That helps me out. And otherwise, peace. In my hand. Peace. Love. Love. Take care.